Hey everyone, Norm from Tested here, and I could not be more thrilled to be out of our studio and into someone else's amazing production. Paul from Sideshow, you guys are running SideshowCon this week, and yes. this has blown my mind how an amazing production you guys have set up. Thank you so much. Yeah, we, uh, you know, I've seen it a couple of times and it never ceases, honestly, to blow my mind. Uh, there's so much here, which we'll get into. Yes. But uh, there is so much here that I think everyone's really gonna love and I know you you personally are gonna love. I mean, it's live streams every day of the week, multiple times a day, a rotating set of what's being on display. It really feels like that yeah. Comic-Con experience yeah, sure that you and I both love, but you guys are setting it up in-house. Yeah. So we're in-house today with Sideshow to take a look at some of their products mm -hmm. And I really want to talk about this guy first because last year I saw the big Rancor. Oh yeah, the big right? healthy Rancor. And that sold out so incredibly detailed. Mm -hmm. I was also blown away when you guys announced then that there's now a more manageable. The travel size. Yes. You know. <laughs> Maybe the one that fits in my home more yes. reasonably. Uh, but this is of course uh, based off of that mm -hmm. same sculpt. Is that right? right? Yes, and so uh, the good news is right up front, almost the entire team came back to work on this one. I think really to challenge themselves to see if they could make the travel size Rancor. I mean, and they they nailed it, they knocked it out of the park. I love, I mean, my favorite thing is like the moisture that you can kind of see. Yes. It's one of my favorite yeah. parts of paint application in any sort of collectible. Um, and I know there was like some particular details that you had really liked on here, uh, specifically like the skin texture. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned paint, right? And yeah. it's not just matte paint. There's like a nice, you know, it's supposed to look, you know, like a hide, right? Yeah, like a yeah. rhinoceros hide. But you also have gloss, right? Gloss in the mm -hmm. eyes, gloss around that, that where would be the wet spots. But also, you know, the Rancor has accessories. He has the earrings. So, oh, yeah. So you have like a little bit of that, like that brush metal look, mm -hmm. especially like. The, uh, the 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 gauntlets, yes, the bracelets, the brace, the yeah. bracelets. It's handcuffs, right? Or handcuffs. Yeah, yeah there's like well, the you know, nice crack and sculptural detail here. Mm -hmm. It really feels like, you know, this as a as a as a, as a sculpt at right. that full size. When you mm -hmm. shrink it down, it's retaining. Oh, every all that same level detail. of detail, every level, uh, and every piece of love that went into all of these. I, I know that the entire team that had worked on this are huge Star Wars fans. So not only did they nail it when they had de uh, did the larger version, but when they brought it down to about 16 inches, they wanted to make sure that that same collectible felt as imposing and menacing as the you know the pit beast that you get in full scale in full uh, size. There, oh. uh, I love it. Yeah, he's he's incredible. I mean. He should be shipping pretty soon. We're thinking hopefully, you know, maybe around in October or so. It, it's really hard to handcuff them. So we, you know, <laughs> there's quite a few of them. And I believe this one is limited to only 2,000. Okay. Only 2,000. Um, I mean, they're they're wonderful. And again, they are, they're great for anyone who, like you said, like for yourself or myself, like I don't have a ton of room yeah. for yeah. these huge pieces. This is perfect for your collection. Yeah, and I, I'm not sure exactly what scale this is. Obviously the Rancor is massive, yeah, yeah. Uh, but in, in terms of scale, you guys do have Premium format, you mm -hmm. guys have six scale. I see a whole line of Star Wars stuff. Can oh, we yes. step off of this podium and take a look down at that stuff? I thought you'd never ask. Let's let's get going. <laughs> All right. So Paul, at my heart, I'm a six scale guy. Of course. And uh, when I saw you guys had planned to put out some Clone Wars six scale, but in your own unique design, I think the community just erupted in oh, applause. Yeah. So, we're finally getting to see these in person. Of course, Anakin and General Obi-Wan. Mm -hmm. uh, talk about the kind of design inspiration for this and how it differs than the other interpretations of these characters. Yeah, I, I would say right up top. I mean, the team absolutely nailed it, specifically with all of the different elements. Of course, we can start with the animated sculpt specifically. Um, I do remember, you know, when talking to some of the project managers, that we did get some of the animation files mm. from Luis to make sure that it was as accurate as possible. Everything down to the hilt, and of course, I mean, the first thing you've got to nail is this sculpt. And I mean, just every particular element that is in here with, you know, his tunic and this Jedi Knight attire that he has, I think was beautifully brought, uh, you know, to its full scale by the folks at, at Luke's really, really helping us out here. And again, as far as it differs, I think, again, bringing it back up to that sculpt, it feels like it's right out of the show. It's an interesting creative choice, right? Because we've seen a lot of interpretations of these specific characters yeah. brought into this scale. Mm -hmm. How photo real do you want to look? How you know how close to the animated mm -hmm. series? And with things like the cut and sew, you know, you yeah. can absolutely make sure clothing looks like clothing, right? right? Like yeah. You have the leather like here. You have you know the little peeling of the the, the soft fabrics. But even like when you're talking about the boots and the mm -hmm. gloves, 
the paint finish here evokes not necessarily a like a clothing armor that I would a, a cosplayer or someone would right. wear, but right out of the show. Same with like, the hair. Like yeah. everything looks painted like it, it's out of out of the animated series. Yeah, it's like a next level of version of sculpting in that you have to sculpt and then go past that. It's like 4D chess almost <laughs> in that you have to sculpt and then also sculpt it in a way that it looks uh, more animated than an animated sculpt normally yeah. would. There's a hyper real aspect to it. Yes, exactly. And, and again, you know, it, it is the collector community is so great in that there are various versions and preferences of these two characters mm -hmm. in the long history that we have, but specifically within the Clone Wars show. Um, and so I know that what Sideshow wanted to do is bring a animated version of these two collectors who have been asking for it. Yeah, and Obi-Wan, of course, in the classic Obi-Wan mm -hmm. pose. These are, of course, six scale posable. Oh yeah, completely. Um, and, and what's the state of these in terms of yeah, the readiness for getting two collectors. So they're still, you know, they're still early in production. We are um, working on them right now. I don't have an exact date as to when these can uh, be expected. That is to be determined. But uh, you know, just wanting everyone to know that we absolutely do not want to rush these because we know how much people are clamoring for these and how I mean, how great they look. Specific again, going back to the hair yeah. and everything and all these details, we want to make sure that the ones that people are seeing here are the ones that are going to be in their collection as well. Oh, they look fantastic. And in front of them, of course, you have General Grievous. Now, this is going to be familiar to mm -hmm. collectors because you guys put this out as like one of the, the, the kind of, an achievement yeah, right, in yeah. engineering and toy design years ago, but it's a not a straight up reissue, but it's a chance no. for collectors to get this again. What's what's kind of different? So yeah, so a lot, you know, the um, the team that worked on the original and the team that worked on this one really sort of wanted to make sure that the essence of what people originally saw was what they're getting now. And Parts of the the body have been redone. The uh, cape has also been redone. And basically the whole thing just got a tune up to make sure that it lasts in your collection for as long as possible. Because there are a lot of moving parts on here. Yes. Of course, we've got the four arms, we've got the four sabers, and the four arms do actually connect oh. to the two arms. Um, that has been, I, I believe, redesigned as well to make it easier for mm -hmm. collectors to pose Grievous in any you know menacing way that they can imagine him. I f I f find that part of six scale collecting is yeah. understanding you know the mechanics of the mm -hmm. figure and, and the body design and this is no ordinary body design no it so is not. <laughs> to get it so you can have it in not just a fixed pose like this but mm -hmm. also then tune your poses and have it stay that's something you always want in in, in six scale and yeah Grievous is, yeah. It's you don't see anyone else attempting a poseable Grievous. No, no, and uh, I mean the team did an incredible job with basically creating a, a body type that allows for so many poses that really you're only limited by your imagination. You can pose them in any way that you've seen them in again the Clone Wars or in um, in any other version of Grievous that you've seen. Well, looking around, you know, not only you have Grievous here in six scale, but let's uh, let's step up and talk about premium format because I see a Grievous back there in that size. Let's do it. So you guys also have a bunch of new premium format. This is a larger scale, almost we do quarter scale size uh, statues. Mm -hmm. Mixed media, something something you guys always do. Oh yes. So I'm noticing the wired cape already uh -huh. in this Grievous. Uh, tell me about the design and the artist that worked on this. Yeah. So this is the uh, this is a first reveal. Uh, first reveal. I'm sorry. This is a prototype. You know, again, right. You know right from in-house. Now, uh, the design uh, was also inspired by Matt Black, who's worked on the Rancor piece, as well as a lot of the uh, Star Wars pieces that our fans have come to know and love. Um, I mean, and it's absolutely incredible. Everything down from all of the texturing and the weathering we see on the base here, all the way up to the very deep sunken eyes of General Grievous here. Uh, I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. And, and as, as you mentioned there, we've got a mixed media piece. Again, I know that the team just loves to challenge itself and the different yeah. departments like to uh, collaborate separately and then come together and bring you a piece like this with this incredible cape that just has a, just an awesome feel on it. I mean, you got the mix of the cape, the, the many lightsabers, mm -hmm. of course, and the way they're all kind of intersecting and the way that Grievous comes right at you. Oh, you're yeah. Looking right in his eyes. I see the depth, even like, all that wiring in his mm -hmm. neck, right? That's oh, yeah. something you can achieve at this scale. And the pose, mm -hmm. um, it's not off balance, but oh, it's, no. a, it's an attack, a, a attack pose. Oh yeah, He's, he is very much uh, you know, ready to go into battle here. And I, I love, again, every single piece of this. You've got the same weathering and texturing that you see on every single part. It's very mirrored on that end and on this end. 
um, and again, very similarly to that six scale that we had seen, you almost can feel the energy that uh, Grievous normally has. He's a very busy character, and you yeah. kind of get that with this. Yeah, and you mentioned this is you know a pre-production prototype yes. done with the artists, the sculptors in a house, mm -hmm. and I've been watching some of the videos that your production team are putting out, right. spotlighting those artists, mm -hmm. and like they're so talented. I'm looking at like the, it, it's it's. Not a flat texture, but like oh, no. that almost marbling, that, that weathering right here mm -hmm. along his plates, right? It's almost like a bone-like yeah, texture. Yeah, it is almost like a, a, a bone, like which is very representative, I think, of Grievous, this character yeah. that's sort of in this in-between constantly, and you feel that. You feel sort of the mechanics you can see in his arms, but like you said, the bone and the depth in the sort of organic feel that his eyes have. Yep, He's yep. a very interesting character, which is perfectly brought to life by oh, the statue, I think. It, Really well done, really yeah. beautiful piece He's here. Awesome. What other premium formats are you guys announcing here? So for the very first time, we have two new premium formats. We have a Kylo Ren and Rey from uh, Sky oh, the Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker, yeah. thank you. I was so excited. <laughs> um, and of course, we have our newly announced Darth Vader. Uh, premium format as well uh, that we had showed at our Star Wars event earlier in the year and we are so excited for all of them seriously uh, and they're, they're great Vader is a character that's been interpreted so many times right. so it's another chance for an artist to come in and mm -hmm. do how Vader appears in in their their vision right yeah I mean it's it's he's such an iconic character that I think it really allows everyone to be able to to put their own spin on it. And again, team knocked it out of the park with this one again. I really can't wait for fans to get it in their house. Oh, so as long as we're moving up in scale, can we go to something that's uh, one to one scale? Let's do it. This is both terrifying and adorable, Paul. So my understanding is this is from a partner of yours. It's a friend of ours, Regal Robot, Tom yes. Spina's company. Uh, I, I didn't even know Tom and his team were working on this. Tell me about this salacious chrome. Yeah, so this is the one-for-one -one, uh, prop replica, again, by Regal Robot. And uh, what's really, I mean, right up top again, only 150 of these are gonna be made because they are so intricately done. Uh, Tom was kind enough to let us know that the uh, the final version people are gonna get will have glass eyes and this faux mm. hair that you're seeing. So what everyone is seeing now is gonna be pretty darn close to what they're gonna get at home. Um, and what's really great is Tom got Tony McVeigh to come back, who did the original sculpt for Slacious Crumb, to come back and help wow. with this sculpt. And it's, what's really great is it's gonna have two, it's gonna have a plaque, a dual plaque, right. that's gonna have two names on it. One is gonna be Tony McVeigh, who did the original sculpt, and the other is Tim Rose, who was the actor who had controlled him. So, you know, it, it's great of Regal Robot to give that credit to such an iconic character, and two iconic people who helped, you know, really, really just to shape this character, it's awesome. Yeah, they have so much experience working with the original props and restoring right. them and working with pulling from the original uh, artists yeah. and their relationships with the artists allow for then a perfect replication for fans. Uh, and they do such great work with the, the, the mixed media as well, oh, yeah. the hair punching. Mm -hmm. oh, I love the, the, the bass as well. <laughs> just, yeah, I mean the themed base, and what's great is uh, Tom again was kind enough to let us know that it will be able to be displayed with or without the base. Got it. So uh, when you see it here, if, if you've got a uh, particular, you know, if you've got your one for one job yeah. of the hut, <laughs> he will sit kindly there. Ah, oh, salacious crumb. Yeah, he's he's great. My one of my favorite names in all of Star Wars. Also, I mean, <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much, Paul, for giving us a glimpse into some of the Star Wars stuff we have lined up here. Yeah, thank you for stopping um, by. Again, you'll have sideshow con running all week. Oh yeah, Monday to Sunday. All sorts of things, collectibles uh, from the pop culture world. Oh yeah, and I can't wait to check oh. the rest of it out. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. We are we can't wait to show everyone.